Good morning, everyone. It's slightly warmer today than it's been the past couple of days. So good news is, is that you won't be needing that winter jacket on your way out the door. Right now we're seeing a temperature of 43 in Beckley and Oak Hill, 40 in Raynell, 34 in Lewisburg, 44 in Princeton and Bluefield, 42 in Welch and 39 in Pineville. And some of those cooler spots, that's where we are looking at potentially seeing a little bit of patchy frost this morning. Storm Tracker 59 HD dual live Doppler radar showing that we are clear and quiet across the area and that will remain the case as we continue to move through our Thursday as we'll see plenty of sunshine. In today's weather history though, back in 1989, our neighbor in Ohio, Cincinnati and Dayton, St. Louis and Indy all saw their earliest measurable snow on record. Now it was over 10 inches in Kokomo and over eight inches in South Bend, which was actually the record for the entire month of October. They typically tend to see most of their snow in the early months of the following year, as we'll see some lake effect snow in that area. Now we will be warming up this weekend and not looking at snow at all, as we'll be seeing plenty of sunshine underneath this dominant high pressure system that will be remaining overhead as we head through your Thursday. Plenty of sunshine, but we do continue to keep that southerly flow around as well. So that'll warm up our temperatures just a little bit more. Our cold front slides to the north as we head through the overnight hours tonight and into your Friday morning. But we remain dry and quiet here in our area. And then the big blue bubble of no trouble sticks around for your Friday, making for a great end to your work week. And we'll continue to keep those warmer temperatures around as we head into Bridge Day as well on Saturday. We'll see a high today of 70 degrees, 72 tomorrow, then 75 for your high on Saturday. Light winds and plenty of sunny skies. Great base jumping conditions for those base jumpers off the bridge. 73 on Sunday then 70 on Monday and we continue to see those temperatures plummet afterwards as we'll see 60 on Tuesday, 50 on Wednesday. But good news, Megan, as we slowly climb up after that, but some of us may even see highs in the 40s next Wednesday. Oh, it's definitely feeling like winter, not even fall. Winter's here, it feels like. <laughs> well, enjoy. At least it's going to be a beautiful weekend, and we have a nice little dry stretch before exactly. rain comes in next week. So, Well, for several years, one family in Massachusetts has turned their front yard into a haunted yard. But that's not all for fun. This project helped raise awareness for a serious health issue affecting teenagers. Here's more from Winchester, Massachusetts. It looks like a Halloween theme park, but it's actually the front lawn of the Downs family home in Winchester. And then it will work its way down. John Downs started this annual display when he was in third grade. As he developed a knack for electrical engineering, it got more sophisticated. A lot of it is homemade. It's grown every year using items John's picked up on the side of the road or the town dump. As the display grew, so did the crowd. It's just a really good opportunity to get people to give small donations. He's even made the donation part fun for kids. They'll bring some money down, they'll drop it in the slots, and then they can take a bracelet and they can also press the red button, which makes the horn go off. All the money he raises goes to a program at Boston Children's Hospital to help families with teens at risk for suicide. You know, mental health is one area that most people don't like to talk about it, but I think that it's one of the most important areas that we should start talking about. Over the past four years, John says this display has raised more than $24,000 for the hospital, and he hopes to top the $30,000 mark this year. 